In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to build a sleek rotating carousel slide animation in Adobe After Effects. This carousel slide animation is perfect for portfolios, product showcases, or dynamic social media content. Let's get started. Firstly, I have already created a new composition at standard Full HD resolution, 1920 by 1080 pixels. This will serve as our main stage where the final carousel comes together. Next, we will build a square media placeholder. Let's create a new composition sized 1080 by 1080 pixels and name it Media01. Once it's ready, duplicate this composition seven more times, giving us a total of eight identical comps, Media01 through Media08. Now, we need to import eight square format images. These could be photos, illustrations, or even video clips. Drag each one into its corresponding media placeholder comp so that Media01 contains Image1, Media02 contains Image2, and so on. It's time to enhance our project with a touch of refinement. Let's embark on the creation of an additional composition titled Mask 01, featuring dimensions of 1080 by 1080 pixels. In this mask composition, our goal is to craft a unique mask for each media placeholder. We will begin by inserting the first media placeholder, labeled Media 01, into the mask composition. Next, we will introduce a new shape layer to elevate the visual appeal. Adjust its dimensions to a captivating 1070 by 1070 and then elevate the roundness to a full 100%, transforming it into a soft, pill-like frame that adds a touch of elegance to our design. Let's rename this shape layer to square underscore shape. Now let's establish a parent-child relationship between the square shape layer and the media zero one layer, ensuring they move in unison as a cohesive unit. Next. Navigate to the Media01 layer and adjust the track matte setting to Alpha Matte Square Shape. This adjustment will elegantly mask your image within the confines of the rounded square, creating a polished and professional appearance. The next step in our process involves duplicating the Mask01 composition a total of seven times, resulting in eight distinct mask compositions. Once we have completed this duplication, we will proceed to open each composition from Mask02 through Mask08. In the next step, we will focus on Mask02 composition, where we will substitute Media01 with Media02. Following that, we will turn our attention to the Mask03 composition and replace Media01 with Media03. This careful methodical approach will be repeated for each subsequent mask composition, culminating in a cohesive and visually engaging set of mask layers, each showcasing its unique media. In the next step, carefully drag all eight mask compositions into our primary Full HD timeline. With all layers selected, press S to reveal the scale property, then reduce the scale to 30% to ensure they fit elegantly within the frame. Next, press P to bring up the position controls and gently nudge each composition slightly to the right, just enough to create a subtle separation at the center, preventing any overlapping and maintaining a clean, organized layout. Now for the magic. Let's create a new null object, which will serve as the central hub of our carousel. Since we have eight media placeholders to work with, we need to divide the full circle of 360 degrees by eight. This calculation gives us 45 degrees for each segment. To begin, let's parent the first mask layer to this newly created null object. Next, we will rotate the null object by 45 degrees. Now it's time to parent the second mask layer, but with an added twist. Rotate it an additional 45 degrees, bringing its total rotation to 90 degrees relative to the first layer. We will continue this systematic pattern for each subsequent layer, increasing the rotation by 45 degrees for each mask, each one parented to the same null. Once all the layers are meticulously positioned, we will set each mask layer's individual rotation back to zero degrees. This adjustment ensures that they always face the viewer, just like real carousel panels. It's time to infuse our project with some dynamic movement by adding keyframes to the null object for a captivating animation. First, let's establish a rotation keyframe on the null object, setting its initial value to zero degrees. With that foundation laid, we will move the time indicator several seconds forward on the timeline, where we will create a second keyframe with a rotation value of one degree. To ensure the motion flows seamlessly and appears beautifully smooth, I'm utilizing Animation Composer 3, Keyframe Wingman, 
to apply auto-easing to the interpolation. This will enhance the overall fluidity of the animation, making it visually appealing and polished. First, let's select the keyframes of the null object and copy them. Next, we will paste these keyframes onto the first mask layer to ensure synchronization. Once that's done, navigate to the last keyframe of the first mask layer. Here, we will adjust the rotation value to negative one. This slight counter-rotation technique is essential as it maintains the image's upright position, creating a seamless and immersive effect as the carousel rotates gracefully. Lastly, let's copy the rotation property from the first mask layer and seamlessly paste it to the seven subsequent mask layers. This will ensure that each panel rotates harmoniously with the carousel, maintaining a visually balanced appearance. And there you have it, a fully functional, customizable carousel slide animation in After Effects. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more motion design tutorials. Until next time, keep animating.